All right, I'm using Handbrake to enhance the volume of my last video. I forgot to boost the mic. All right, so uh, if you haven't figured it out by now, technology is not your friend. Society isn't your friend. Culture is not your friend. It's your teacher, and we're here learning complex things because we are complex. <clears throat> When I first got into astrology, I tried to connect with people in the astrology uh, community. Right, boy? <laughs> Come on. And they were so polarized, it was hard for me. I just thought it was me because I'm not domesticated. I don't hang out with people. I don't talk to people. So I was learning how to be in relation with people. Usually it was related to work talking about tech and crap like that so it was easy or <clears throat> in the military or on a sports team or something you know you've got a a narrative that you just sit with but with astrology everyone's pseudo philosophical pseudo spiritual pseudo scientific you know this is an ancient language we're all trying to figure out and there are some good people that have uh, done a lot to strengthen it. And some people have done a lot to try and um, pimp it out as if it's some um, spawning ground for their own ideologies, <clears throat> which is normal. But I ran into a lot of girls, particularly younger ones, 20s, 30s, who are completely brainwashed. Then I ran into a lot of older men and women mostly gay men or gay women and they were brainwashed into this hippie thing so it's like they were um, I don't know if it's Pluto Sag, Pluto Leo, there's certain elements of that which are completely uh, possessed by narration but you know men are bad, white men are evil, all this other um, there's systematic or systemic racism, all this stuff. So basically they're trying to create ideologies based off of age-old issues which are only relational to society. So they've uh, subjectified objective you know, response to the echo loops of trauma. And a lot of people, they don't live in the same kind of trauma that looks or feels sexy or beautiful so they adopt other people's and then they try and act like they're a savior or they too are a victim or they martyr their own progression for narration um, but they always become the tyrant essentially because if you don't believe in what they believe in you're the enemy so I didn't have a lot of success with those people which was fine because I didn't even know I'd been out of societal programming. I didn't know what the fuck was going on with people. But I did meet a few young guys. And I could feel the pain. You know, they don't have the same fire that men in my generation had. Because it had been taken away. Then I met a few guys closer to my age who had um, experienced the devouring mother energies which creates champagne socialistic mindset, essentially. Because it emasculinates the man. And um, I could tell, at least, it seems to create a schism in the psyche. And uh, if there is schizophrenic type delusions based off of your programming through growing up, it comes from that devouring mother or the uh, dragon mom. And those people are more programmed by society because they have no value in the tradition of the family. So they put that into an ideal of what it could become or the utopian dream or some misogynistic or what is the word? Not misogyny. Poly something where basically you have, there's no one-on-one -on -one connections. It's like a tribe thing. Some hippie uh orgy type community that's where their idealization goes to and so the lower expression the uh, luciferian energies within them the hedonistic starts to run those people in any case <clears throat> 
I see on social media, I don't go on there much, but YouTube is trying to program me. And there's all this like black bad, white bad, men bad, women bad. It's, everything is bad. We're being programmed to look at everything as if it's a negative. We're programmed by the pain, essentially, and we feed into these schisms, these contrasts, rather than standing in the light of our own truth, which is having to do with uh, allowing our ignorance to be known so that it can die, so old beliefs can be killed. But for women, um, I feel a lot of women, they're seeking the divine masculine. And it's been idealized into the chivalrous bullshit, which is tied into societal programming. It's not a true life. If two people are together, a man and a woman on an island, they resonate at the most fundamental, um, energetic, eventually. You know, it is just about common sense, logic, based off of the nature of being. What it takes for one to become two, to become three, to become four, etc. It's, it's foundational to existence. <clears throat> but so if you seek this divine masculine in the world around you and others around you and they can't live up to the expectation, then you try and become what that is. So a lot of women become over-masculinized and they try and become powerful and they try and become the monster they do battle with and they lose themselves in the game. And that's part of the process of developing the ego through the shadow. And you got to wear it until it burns off and it's not an easy or fun process. Because you're dealing with other people that are trying to find the divine feminine. And so they are repressing those sensitive um, aspects of themselves because they don't want to be hurt. And they don't want to be misunderstood. <clears throat> so both male and female are doing this thing in relation to one another through the medium of our cultures, of society. So how do you find the truth? You know, it's simple. It's about individuation. You don't be this fucking shit show. You don't allow programming narration to uh, replace the value that's intrinsic within you with an external icon, a fad, a belief system, ideology. I mean, we see it all the time. All our heroes, the people we prop up or the people that rise up, they focus all of our intention, our energy, our, uh, they become a savior and then they transform into the darkness edifice of what it is because they haven't individuated themselves. Jordan Peterson is a good example of this. Now he's being... Um, I guess he's being put into some kind of programming thing where he has to learn how to be functional for society or something. I don't know what the bullshit is. But the mere fact that he is a spokesman for this tells you that he's part of the problem. <laughs> he's exasperating the narration. You know, they're trying to polarize us so that the woke mobs over here have... Um, transgressed beyond reproach we've got the sleeping hand of biden joe Obama over there big mike all these <laughs> puppets on this side then you've got this um, traditional masculine orange man over here and like all these people who are fighting for the children and the purity and and it's like they're bringing fascism and socialism into the storm so that they can smash them together and create some kind of new system, which is basically, uh, and this is what happens, it's when they start to fall and separate, that's how uh, democracy works. They crash it together and then as it starts to settle, it separates and in the gaps they play, the shadows grow. But at the end of the day, it's uh, we are the fodder, we are the 
Goyam, we are the uh, human resources to be managed. <clears throat> so fuck the system, fuck all these uh, stupid ideologies. Anyone who bases their ability to think off of narration of echo response isn't worth your damn time. They're uh, bypassing their own shit. They're projecting their shadow into the world around them rather than feeding on it and devouring it and tearing it apart themselves because they don't see their own value. It's in the ideal. And if they don't understand it, that's you know part of their process. But if you understand it, you can see how that plays out, you can feel how that is, then it's up to you. It's incumbent upon you about how do you separate yourself from all that bullshit. How do you become a sovereign being in a shit show like this? Well, it's easy to um, get started, but nothing easy is worth doing. So you got to expect that it's work to get to where you're going. You know, you got to swim upstream to the top of the mountain. On the other side of the mountain is a new valley. That's where we're going. So you got to create a new fall into a new utopian dream. And that utopian dream is not something you can put a mind, an idea, a picture to. It's a feeling. And if you flow towards what it is that's pulling you along, which doesn't um, feed into the system, then you can rest assured that that's, you're on the right path. Now, it doesn't mean that uh, you can't swim in the shit show and try and make things better. You know, when I used to do technology, there was, we'd have to build these servers, you know, and we'd build these, uh, we'd institute new tech, new applications. We'd build it up, all these databases, all these users, these processes, people depending upon it. We couldn't just destroy the old system, otherwise people would be out of work. And if we were too drastic, they wouldn't understand how to go to the next system and they'd be a pain for our support for everyone involved, a lot of stress. So we created uh, these migration paths. We would set up a whole new server, get everything up and running, figure out how to work it, what to do with it, how the processes work, how the documentation should be designed. We'd bring people from the old system in, these leads that could learn it and understand it, they could help optimize processes and training at the grassroots level. And then you slowly migrate data to the new system. And so we'd have certain departments on the new system, certain departments on the old. It's a lot of work, but it's the most seamless way to do things without fucking everything up. That's how society can be. That's how all things are naturally, I feel. It's just foundational logic one plus one is two one plus two is three three plus one you always add one the element of creation of being of all this of isness so um i don't know it was a rant maybe it made sense if not maybe better luck next time i suppose for me all right thanks for watching listening and being